Welcome back to the program, everybody. Welcome back to another show. Welcome back to another episode. Good morning to all of my viewers, listeners, and Soul Tribe family. The name of this program is called It's a Conspiracy, But It Ain't No Theory. On today's episode, I'm going to be discussing gang stalking, plus surviving the new world disorder per usual, surviving manufactured chaos, surviving manufactured karma, surviving white genocide, surviving the electronic targeting holocaust, my name is Adrian Alis. I am the author and creator of a book trilogy called Lucy's Lair, part one, two, and now three. Lucy's Lair is a book trilogy reflecting my life as a survivor of rape culture, child sex trafficking, and psychological gas chambers. On this program, I advocate for women's rights, basic human rights, and the rights of those disabled. I also advocate on behalf of the foster children in the CPS system, orphans, single mothers, foster mothers, and those less fortunate. This program is a dedication to the targeted individual community. All right, so the objective of the opposition or the counterintelligence program 2.0, this new version of counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO, this um, high-tech version of the COINTELPRO, is to subvert all of the target's potentiality to terminate and to punish all supporters and sympathizers, to round down the target's output and audience, to marginalize the target, to eliminate connections and networking ability. There's a lot more to it than just that, though. How crazy overview of harassment methods used by FBI's COINTELPRO counterintelligence program, Operation Gladio, covert community recruits and stay behind armies, or instruction manual for community gang stalkers. Dang, talk about doing the most. That is crazy. All right, so I hope everybody is enjoying their Monday morning so far. I just wanted to update everybody and let you know that I haven't been feeling very well. I came down with a pretty bad head cold and I've been under the weather for about the past three to four, maybe five days. So, um... I actually have the core papers and the finances that I need to go ahead and file. So I'm going to be filling that out sometime this week. And hopefully I can get to the Seattle courthouse to file these papers um, for malicious harassment and for restitutions by, I don't know, the end of the month. And if not for sure by 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 next week or the week after that but uh but uh for sure and definitely gonna try to push it within the last um within the next i mean two weeks the one thing that is missing however is the restraining order that i have not been able to file on the neighbors here And so I'm just going to have to go ahead and skip right over that because I've waited so long to get this court paper processed. And um, the main reason why I've been putting it off is because I don't have transportation and I didn't have the finances to go ahead and file. But uh, I have both of those already done. And then in um, combination with that, I needed to go ahead and get my security cameras set up and to go ahead and make sure that I'm documenting this entire process because uh, they took both of my vehicles, they impounded them before I tried to file this paperwork. And so this is my third attempt since December 21st, 2022 to file for this paperwork and for this malicious harassment for domestic servitude and for restitutions. So um, I've only had since December 21st Because I've been held hostage against my will, I've only had three opportunities to go to the courthouse and file for this. The very first time I've already gone over this, they shut down the law library to prevent me uh, from being able to file that day. And I should have been able to file 
that day, okay? So there would be no trying to kill me or overdose me in the psych ward in the hospital because I would have already been filing for malicious harassment the day I went in December, um, you know, in, in 2022. So, very long, very hard process, very, very stressful process but hopefully everything goes accordingly and if it doesn't i will be there to report exactly what goes down stay tuned for that